Hello everybody, in this video I want to talk about how we can derive the equation of a parabola. And in this video we're going to talk about a parabola that opens either up or down, and then even more specifically a parabola that opens up, okay? So we have a diagram here where we have our x and a y axis in black, we have our parabola in purple, we have our directrix in yellow, we have our focus in orange, and we have another point, or we have a point on our parabola that's in a lighter purple color, okay? So what we know about the parabola, the equation, the focus and the directrix are the same distance from any point on the parabola. So if we look at our diagram, we have this distance here would be PF, and we have this distance here we'll call PD. So we could write an equation, we could say PD is equal to P. F. And so the distances are equal. So what we can do now is use the distance formula. So we can write that out. And we know the distance formula is x squared minus x1, or x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And we're going to take the square root of that. Okay. So we'll start off with PD and we're going to say x minus x squared plus y minus negative p, so y plus p squared. All right, now for PF, we're gonna say X minus zero squared plus Y minus P squared, okay? All right, now let's simplify this a little bit. X minus X, so that's gonna go away. So we can make that a little bit smaller actually. And so we just have Y plus P quantity squared is equal to, and now over here, X minus zero would be X squared, and we'll leave this as plus Y minus P squared. Okay, so now what we can do, get rid of our radical by squaring both sides. And so now we have y plus p quantity squared is equal to x squared plus y minus p quantity squared. And now we have two squares of a binomial, y plus p and y minus p squared. And so let's expand those. So this would give us y squared plus two times p times y. So we'll say two py and then plus p squared. And over here we have x squared plus, once again, y squared, but now this is gonna be minus 2py, and then plus p squared. Okay, now we can combine some like terms. So notice we have a y squared on both sides, and we have a p squared on both sides. So those are gonna cancel. And so now we have 2py is equal to x squared minus 2py. So let's add this 2py here, 2py, okay. So now that goes away. So now we have 4py is equal to x squared, and we're gonna divide both sides by 4p. And that's gonna give us our final equation, which is going to be y is equal to, and we'll write this as one over 4p times x squared, okay? So this right here, y equals one over 4p times x squared, would be our standard equation for our, our parabola that has its origin or its vertex at the origin. So a couple things we can derive from this equation down here at the bottom in white. The focus and directrix each lie the absolute value of p units from the vertex, right? So zero comma p, and then we used y equals negative p for our directrix equation. Parabolas can also open left or right. So we said in this video, this is about a parabola that's gonna open up or down. Um, and in this case, the equation would be x equals one over four p y squared when the vertex is at the origin, right? So if we have a parabola that opens left or right, all we have to do is switch x and y and we use the same equation, okay? And so that's how you can derive the equation of a parabola when its vertex is at the origin. <laughs>